Live by satellite from the exotic city of Bangkok, Thailand, the 1992 Miss Universe pageant. Naki Rankinok, Miss Universe 1988. And I am Apasla Sukun, Miss Universe 1965. It is early Saturday morning here at the Queen Surrogate National Convention Center. As we say in our native kingdom of Thailand, Sawadika, welcome. welcome. The 1992 Miss Universe pageant with your host, Dick Clark. Co host, Lisa Gibbons. Special commentator, Miss Universe 1989, Holland's Angela Bissner. The reigning Miss Universe, Mexico's Lupita Jones. The Little Sisters of Bangkok. And the Dance Theater of Thailand. You're about to meet 78 of the most beautiful women in the world. The contestants for the title of Miss Universe 1992. Thank you. What a beautiful world we live in. Your national costumes are magnificent. You look wonderful. Thank you so much. We are very honored to be your guests here in Thailand. Thank you. It's been called the most fascinating country in Asia, and you'll see why when we take you on a little tour later on in the show. Right now, we have 78 young women who are very anxious to get started with the competition. And here to help me keep things rolling is my co-host from Entertainment Tonight. Please welcome Miss Lisa Gibbons. Thank you. Hello, Dick. Sawadi. Hello, ladies. Oh. Is this incredible or what? When you enter through a pair of pachyderms, you know you are in Thailand. No kidding. This is just a magical kingdom. We have now discovered why they're known for their hospitality. Well, yes, hospitality, absolutely, and golden temples. Mm -hmm. There is some great shopping here. Yes, yes. Ancient ruins, palaces, some wonderful shopping, yes, 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 beautiful sir. beaches, there's fabulous food. Did I tell you about the shopping? You, you mentioned, mentioned the shopping. Will you, <laughs> will you have enough time, aside from the shopping, to get up to the anchor? Well, yes, because I'm broke. I've spent all my money now. I will be up there with Angela Visser, 1989's Miss Universe from Holland, and we will give you all the stories behind the smiles. I'm always surprised at how much information you get. How do you do it? Yeah, we're good, because, see, the, from the moment that these girls arrive, our crack research team and interviewers have spent nearly every waking minute with them, and you'll be amazed at the stuff we know about you girls. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am ready. I am ready to be amazed. Are you ready? I sure am. Let us do it. See you later. Good luck, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Lisa Gibbons. <laughs> our contestants have been here in Bangkok for almost four weeks preparing for tonight. And this past week, our pageant began with three preliminary competitions as our panel of judges set out to narrow the field to ten semifinalists. 
The contestants were judged in the swimsuit competition in which they modeled identical suits. And the evening gown competition where the ladies wore gowns of their own choice. And the interview competition in which each of our ten judges talked individually with each contestant. Now the scores from these three events have been averaged for the contestants' preliminary ranking. And as the young ladies introduce themselves, you'll see those scores along with a visual reminder of how they looked in the preliminaries. Now. During our traditional parade of nations, see if you can guess the winner of the best national costume award. We'll reveal the winner later in the show. And now, here are the 78 contestants for the title of Miss Universe 1992, starting with the ladies from Central and North America. El Salvador. Hola, muy buenos días a todos. My name is Melissa Salazar, and I come from San Salvador, El Salvador. Nicaragua. Hola amigos, I am Ida Patricia Laney and I represent Managua, Nicaragua. Costa Rica. Buenos días, from San Jose, I'm Jessica Manley representing the beautiful Costa Rica. Honduras. Hi, my name is Monica Rapalo and I come from the heart of Central America, La Ceiba, Honduras. Mexico. Hola, I am Monica Zuliga. I was born in the beautiful city of Pachuca in the state of Hidalgo, Mexico. Guatemala.
TD from the Emerald Isle. I'm Jane Thompson representing Belfast, Ireland. Sweden. Hey, Sam. My name is Monica Broad and I come from the beautiful city of Stockholm in Sweden. Austria. What's that? My name is Karin Friedel. I come from Bad Austria. Netherlands. Hello, allemaal. From the country of tulips and clogs, I'm Vivian Janssen representing the Netherlands. Germany. Guten Morgen, my name is Monika Resch and I come from Thüringen. It's the green heart of Germany. Belgium. Bonjour, I am Anke van der Meersch and I live in the center of the European community. Belgium. Bulgaria. My name is Mikhail Nikol, I am from Sofia, Bulgaria. Czechoslovakia. Dobry den, my name is Mikhail Malachova, I come from the heart of Europe, I represent Czechoslovakia. Iceland. My name is Vava Harris of this from Reykjavik, representing Iceland. France. Bonjour, my name is Linda Ardi. I come from the west coast of North. I represent France. And now, the contestants from the Mediterranean, Middle East and Africa. Turkey. Merhaba, I'm El Bulgat and I'm coming from a lovely city, Antalya, and I'm representing Turkey. Israel. Hello, my name is Zainat Moore and I come from Kiryat Mosque in Haifa, Israel. Kenya. Jumbo, my name is Aisha Liebig and I come from Mombasa, the sunny coast of Kenya. Republic of Malta. Hello, my name is Julian Pomeleri and I come from the heart of the Mediterranean, Malta. Egypt. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Lamy Mohammed and I come from the exciting city of Cairo, Egypt. Greece. Kalimera, my name is Indigiv Marina, and I come from the beautiful and historical Macedonia, Greece. Lebanon. Sabah Sir, my name is Abi Sharouf, I am from Lebanon. Namibia. Walelepo, from the smile of Africa, I'm Michelle McLean, representing Namibia. Cyprus. Kalimera, my name is Mirza Babadabul, and I come from the birthplace of Aphrodite, Nicosia, Cyprus. Spain. Hola, buenos días. Mi nombre es Virginia García y vengo de Medina del Campo, Valladolid, España. Nigeria. Hello, my name is Sandra Petri, and I represent one of the largest countries in Africa, Nigeria. And now, the contestants from the island. British Virgin Island. From the yachting capital of the world, I am Alicia Burke, representing the British Virgin Island. Turks and Caicos. Hello. Johnson representing the island that's beautiful by nature, the Turks and Caicos Island. Miss Curacao. Bon dia. My name is Michelle de Paula, and I'm very proud to represent the most friendly island of the Caribbean, Curacao. U.S. Virgin Islands. From the American paradise, my name is Kathy Mae Sitaran, and I'm from St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. Bermuda. Hello, I am Colita Joseph, representing the beautiful islands of Bermuda. Jamaica. Hello, I'm Richard Roden from Kingston, and I'm here representing the exotic island of Jamaica. Puerto Rico. Buenos dias, my name is Daisy Garcia, and I come from Bayamón, Puerto Rico. Guam. Half the day, I'm Cheryl Deborah Payne, and I'm from the beautiful island of Nimitil, Guam. Bahamas. Good morning from the number one tourist resort of the world. My name is Montella Chipman, representing the Bahamas. Mauritius. Bonjour, my name is Stephanie Raymond, bringing you the sun of the Indian Ocean. I come from Albion, Mauritius. Cayman Islands. From the stupid island haven of the world. Hello, I'm Yvette Gordon, to represent the beautiful Cayman Islands. Dominican Republic. Hola, buenos días. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. I come from the paradise of the Caribbean. República Dominicana. Aruba. Bon dia. My name is Yerusha Raspain, and I represent the one happy island, Aruba. Northern Mariana. Half a day. I'm in Mount Antonio, representing the beautiful islands of the Northern Mariana. And here are the contestants from South America. Chile. Buenos dias, my name is Marcela Lacaresa and I come from Santiago, Chile. Colombia. Buenos dias, my name is Paola Turbay Gomez and I come from the place where the richest coffee is found, Colombia. Brazil. Bom dia, meu nome é Maria Carolina e sou representante da Tchecológica Curitiba, Brasil. Ecuador. Hola, 
Hola, muy buenos días. My name is Maria Soledad Diab, and I come from the beautiful land of the banana, Guayaquil, Ecuador. Argentina. Hola, muy buenos días. Mi nombre es Laura Rafael y pertenezco a la hermosa República Argentina. Bolivia. Hola, buenos días. I am Natasha Gabriel Arana and I come from the beautiful country of Tarija, Bolivia. Suriname. Hello, Alamal. My name is Nancy Casangaluar and I live in Paramaribo. I come from Suriname. Peru. Buenos días. I am Aline Arce. I come from Arequipa, a beautiful city of Incans Land, Peru. Uruguay. Hola a todo el mundo. My name is Gabriela Ventura and I come from Montevideo, Uruguay. Venezuela. Hola, buenos días. My name is Carolina Isaac and I represent a beautiful natural treasure, Venezuela. Paraguay. Hola, buenos días. Me llamo Pamela Sars. I'm from to Asunción y represento a la tierra de los héroes, Paraguay. In just a few moments, we'll choose 10 of these extraordinary contestants as our semi-finalists, so stay with us. My best friend and I went out like... ...by cover girl. Keebler introduces the start of something big. New Sweet Spots cookies. It all begins small enough with a bite-sized shortbread cookie. But then, on top, a big chocolatey drop for an unbelievably big chocolatey taste. Remember, these are professional cookie-baking elves. Do not try this yourself. But do try this, a handy four-pack of Sweet Spots. The little cookie with a big, big chocolatey taste. New Sweet Spots, only from Keebler. <laughs> Thank you to the wonderful Dance Theater of Thailand. Well, for the second year in a row, I'm happy to have as my partner up here in the anchor booth, our special commentator tonight, Miss Universe 1989, Holland's Angela Visser. Hi, Angela. Hi, Lisa. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad we're doing this again. Well, I am, too, because I think we have all the fun up here. Oh, we do, definitely. <laughs> it's a good group of girls this year, so let's get right down to it. Put you on the line from the start. You've spent the last few weeks really getting to know them. I did. Who impresses you so far as front runners? Well, I can hardly choose. I have, like, 20 favorites. They're so good this year. You but can't have 20 favorites. I know. <laughs> I have to go, of course, with my sentimental favorite, Miss Netherlands, coming from the country Well, naturally. Myself, I know. Miss Thailand is just absolutely beautiful. Miss yes, Venezuela, Miss India, Miss I Iceland. I mean, the list goes on. Well, let me play nationalistic now. What about Miss USA? She usually always makes the semifinal, so I'm pretty sure she's going to be up there. She's strong. You know, that's true. In fact, Danny Sheridan, who's the odds maker for USA Today, picked Miss USA and Miss Venezuela as the favorites. We should probably tell our audience that neither the contestants nor the judges can hear what Angela and I are saying here in the anchor booth. No, because that way it won't influence the scoring or make the contestants nervous. you got to figure they're probably pretty nervous anyway, but ten of them are going to be very happy as well in a moment. Let's go back to the stage now and see who they are. Now this is our first moment of suspense as we now reveal the 10 contestants who will continue in our competition. Thank you, sir. You'll see each contestant's composite preliminary score on the screen as she comes forward. And ladies, I will read these names in random order. Good luck to all. You're all wonderful. The semifinalists are Miss Australia. Georgina's sister was Miss Australia six years ago. The country, though, has not had a Miss Universe since 1972. Miss Sweden. Well, I'm not surprised to see Monica up there. The Swedish girls do really well in this pageant. They have won three times. Miss India. Madhu entered the Miss India pageant just for the fun of it. She just won it, in fact, a few weeks ago. Miss Netherlands. 
Vivian's boyfriend and her mother are in the audience ready to wave the Dutch flag. I know they're really excited for her, and I am beaming with pride. <laughs> <laughs> Miss New Zealand. Ah, uh, Lisa told us that all she wanted to do was make the top ten. I wonder if she might set a new goal of winning the crown now. Way to go, Kiwis. Five names remain. Miss USA. Oh, we expected Shannon to be up there, and so did the Off Vegas. It's no surprise. Cheer it for the Stars and Stripes. <laughs> Miss Columbia. Now, the last time a Colombian won, the government built her a mansion and declared her tax exempt for life. I wonder what'll happen if she wins tonight. There are three left. Miss Namibia. This is the first time Miss Namibia has made the semi-final, and Lisa, a lot of pageant watchers think she could take it all. Miss Venezuela. Okay, here is the other odds maker's pick. This makes 11 times in the last 12 years that Venezuela has made the semi-finals. There is one name left. Miss Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, the 10 semi-finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1992. Well, you probably noticed already this is a tall group of girls. There are at least three six-footers up there. I know, and they're so gorgeous, aren't they? They certainly are. We want to remind you that the scores you saw from the preliminaries are now eliminated. Those ten semifinalists start from zero for the continuing competition. And this is an important point because at the Miss USA pageant this year, Shannon Marketic made the semifinals with one of the lower scores in the group, but then she really came on strong. She, of course, won the crown. These girls are very competitive. Anything can happen. And our television audience will see every bit of the competition as it happens, live here in Bangkok. All right, Angela, swimsuit. swimsuits oh, are yeah. coming up next. Any favorites? Well, Lisa, ever since Miss Belgium arrived, the, the photographers have been going crazy Isn't that about the truth? it. Her legs are just as tall as I am. I, I know. If traffic wasn't always stopped here in Bangkok, she could definitely, oh, definitely. do it. Oh, definitely. And of course, this is also about fitness. So we should really ro watch Miss India. She works out about two and a half hours a day. Get over it. Oh, sure. We all do that. In yeah. my dreams. <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> all right. We're going to show you some of the beauty of Thailand, as well as the swimsuit competition, right after this. My health club always had Pert Plus in the locker room. Then one day they switched. This one said it was a two-in-one, but it didn't condition as well. Pert Plus left my hair clean and conditioned. So now when I go to my club, my Pert Plus goes with me. Where'd you guys come from? Oh, we just kind of blew in. Cool, clean, refreshing Lipton iced tea. Share the experience. Your breakfast, sir. This new Kellogg's Frosted Bran is quite sensible. Crispy flakes with whole wheat and bran, lightly frosted for a taste. A taste that delicious. I love it. I love it. 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 <clears throat> and new Kellogg's Frosted Bran has less sugar than you'd imagine. But the taste, it's out of... We've got to stop serving this. <laughs> new Kellogg's Frosted Bran, wildly delicious, sensibly good. Tired of the same old bar? Save yourself in something really new. Jergens Aloe or Jergens Vitamin E Skin Conditioning Bars. For skin that feels more than clean, it feels healthy. New Jergens Aloe and Vitamin E. She thinks they did. It's a memory I'll never forget. He knows they didn't. We never had sex. Will she take the news graciously? Oh, All new Northern wow. Exposure, Monday. Someone tried to kill her. Another person might have given up, but she tracked down her attacker and discovered he's a cop. I saw it. Killers don't wear name tags. Cops do. You got the wrong guy. I was afraid to walk into my own house. Elizabeth Montgomery. I know it was him. Howard Rollins. He's coming back. With murder in mind, Tuesday. Thank you.
Dark Justice tonight, CBS Late Night. It's too hot to sleep. Welcome back to Thailand as we continue our live show. With us tonight is an international group of very accomplished people who have a very difficult task. They're the nine judges who must choose Miss Universe. Let's meet them right now in audience. If you would, please hold your applause until we've introduced them all. First is supermodel and TV personality. She's graced the cover of hundreds of magazines and recently made her TV acting debut. She's Kim Alexis. Once Britain's youngest page one news reporter, he's host and producer of two hit series, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous and Runaway, show business personality, Robin Leach. An international concert and recording star and an anti-apartheid activist, she's South Africa's most famous entertainer, Miriam Makiba. He and his orchestra sell out concerts from New York to Peru with platinum albums and two Grammy nominations. He's Nicaragua's Prince of Salsa, Luis Enrique. Vice President of Talent for Warner Brothers, she has cast hit movies and discovered such legends as Glenn Close, Dustin Hoffman, and Robert Redford. She's Marion Doherty. NHL All-Star with 274 goals in 12 seasons. He joins the new Tampa Bay Lightning this year. He's Canadian hockey star Ron Duguay. Top tennis pro for 20 years, actor, current president of the Associated uh, Tennis Professionals and goodwill ambassador from India. He is Vijay Armitraj. Her career began on the stage, but she's best known today as the feisty Sophia on TV's Golden Girls. She's Golden Globe and Emmy Award winner Estelle Getty. A former national legislator and successful business leader and honored by the royal family for her philanthropic work. She's one of Thailand's most accomplished women, Kun Ying Sasimis TV Corn. Ladies and gentlemen, our judges. I'd like to explain our scoring system, which is similar to the Olympics. As each contestant competes, our judges here enter a score ranging from 1.0 to a high of 9.99 into their computer terminal. You will see the judges' names and scores. Then the highest and lowest scores are eliminated and the remaining scores are averaged, like this. Each contestant's average scores in the swimsuit, interview, and evening gown competition are added and the top six composite scores will determine the six finalists. Well, the competition is about to begin, so let's go back to the stage. Thank you, Angela, very much. The Kingdom of Thailand is famous for its beautiful flowers, and Miss Universe pageant is famous for beautiful women. It's a perfect combination for our first event of the semifinals, the swimsuit competition. Now, as our contestants model swimsuits from Catalina and shoes from Federico Leone, we've asked each young woman to tell us a little bit more about herself, and we'll begin with Miss Australia. I just love to spend time at home with my family and there's about 10 little children that live in my street and they come down every weekend and ask me if I'd like to come out and play. So I pile all the kids in my little VW and we go off down to the beach for a rollerblade and it's just so much fun and that's how I keep my sanity. Miss Sweden. I probably describe myself as a very independent woman with strong will. I follow my own instincts, and most of all, I think I stand on my both feet on the ground. Miss India. Oh, health and fitness is very important to me because my father has been an athlete and he raised me to be an athlete. And so for the last five years I've been working out regularly. And I'm not on a strict diet, but I do keep watch on what I eat. Miss Netherlands. The biggest change in the last couple of years is that I have become more conscious and grateful of the things that I have. And I think I have a good life and I appreciate that very much. Miss New Zealand. I'd have to describe New Zealanders as a very independent people. We get involved in a lot of the world's activities. For example, at the moment we're up there with the American Cup Challenge, doing very well. And we're a big contributor to the Greenpeace organization. We are very caring people. Miss USA. When I look back over my life, I think the things that will really stand out most to me are the relationships that I have with people. Because it's one thing that I've learned, it's not how many 
zeros are on the end of your paycheck or how many things you can acquire, but just the relationship that you have with people. And I think when it's all said and done, that's all that really matters. Miss Columbia. I think I'm a combination of both my parents because I think like my father, I try to analyze things like him, but I also try to put um, the heart into stuff like my mother. Miss Namibia. I definitely want a family. Um, I want to have my own clinic, a holistic clinic where I can practice massage, as well as maybe give people a little bit more insight into healthy living and a healthy mind with a healthy body. Miss Venezuela. I've been a Girl Scout since I was six years old. So I had the opportunity to go to camps and have a close contact with nature. I love nature. And I understand the importance of protecting our Earth. Miss Belgium. Sometimes I just have to do something different. Like the time I did bungee jumping from a bridge in Austria. Once I went parasailing in Cancun. I don't know why I did it, but I just wanted to, and I'm very glad I did it. Thank you, ladies. That completes the Catalina Swimsuit Competition for Miss Universe 1992. <laughs> Pretty close to perfect. Let's take a look now. We'll show you how the judges scored this part of our competition. Miss Venezuela, everyone said she would do well. She is. She's out in front of swimsuits. Followed very closely, look at this, Angela, by Miss India. Your fave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Miss Netherlands is right there. up there. And here's how the other seven semifinalists ranked in swimsuit competition. Now, as the winner of this competition, Miss Venezuela receives a $1,000 cash award or a $2,500 photo modeling contract from Catalina. That's a great prize. A lot of these it's girls wonderful. are models. Yeah. All right, the contestants are backstage now, changing into their after five dresses. So we thought we'd take a moment here to prove that those swimsuits are not just for modeling. They're also for having fun in the sun in Thailand's beautiful resort. Thailand is famous for its beautiful beaches. And the contestants agree Chai Am is one of the best. <laughs> new friends. <laughs> All kinds of new friends. <laughs> Later, they sped off to another resort area, Patia. Resorts, hospitality, wonderful. And everybody got wet with the traditional good luck splash of water for Songkran, the Thai New Year. <laughs> Resort. 
It's no wonder some of the contestants are going to stay here in Thailand a vacation after the pageant. All right, the next part of the competition, Angela, is I think probably the most revealing for me anyway. These are the interviews. Now, you have interviewed all of these girls. I did. <laughs> Who do you think will do well? Well, we have to really watch Miss Australia. She has actually been in Thailand before working as a model. She speaks a little Thai, and I think she should get the prize for the biggest eyes Aren't in the they pageant. Gorgeous? They beautiful, love her here, too. Beautiful. And, of course, Miss Netherlands. She has a very sweet, natural quality. And the interview after her is Miss New Zealand. She's the opposite of shy. Watch her. She's yeah, a wild woman. She really is. Well, oh, that's yeah, that Kiwi she's great. spirit. Yeah. All right, we're going to be back in just a moment with those unrehearsed, unpredictable interviews. So stay with us. I want to show you why my Dirt Devil is the world's best-selling corded hand vacuum. Okay, Sam. Now, the toughest test for any vacuum is pit air. So I gave my Dirt Devil a strong motor and a revolving brush, just like an upright. And if it's powerful enough to clean up this mess, imagine what it can do with a dirty carpet. You could say Dirt Devil is man's best friend. Well, almost. So get a Dirt Devil and put the power of an upright in the palm of your hand. Some people feel things that other people don't. They're more sensitive to little things like detergent. For those people, we introduce new Cheer Free. It's free of dyes and perfumes and their residues, which can irritate sensitive skin. It's dermatologist tested, and it's from Cheer. So it has the strength and character to clean and brighten, but it also has a very sensitive side. The 1992 Miss Universe pageant will continue. Some shower scenes haunt us for years. Now, the most memorable shower of all. Surprise! Murphy Shower. The Blonde Street Gang. Join Paula Zahn, Katie Couric, and Joan London for Murphy's Baby Shower. Followed by Designing Women all Monday. All those who love great comedies say hi. A freight train collides with a speeding pickup, and a desperate wife helps her injured husband. I didn't see how my world could go on without Ron. Rescue 911 Tuesday. The television event that will change the way you think. Something is happening to you. The government cover-up, the people who live in fear, and the doctor whose life will never be the same. They took my baby! Richard Crenna and Mayor Winningham had an all-star cast. Intruders, they are among us, and beginning May 17th, you will believe. This is CBS. This Mother's Day, tell your mom those three little words all moms love to hear. Roy Rogers, chicken. <laughs> now through Mother's Day, get your mom eight pieces of Roy Rogers fried chicken for $7.99, and we'll give you four biscuits and two more pieces of chicken all for free. Mm. Roy's chicken's my favorite. Yeah, it's much better than yours. Mm. Roy Rogers and Hardy's Mother's Day deal. Eight pieces of chicken plus two more pieces and four free biscuits, all for $7.99. Beer drinkers across America are discovering that there's never a dull moment when you're having an ice-cold Miller Sharps. Brewed like a beer, but without all the alcohol. Imagine that. The crisp, refreshing taste of beer anytime, including game time. Are these laser vision glasses headed for the dump? Find out tonight at 11. We're back live in Bangkok, where I have the pleasure of talking with 10 beautiful ladies. And as I do, you and our judges will get to know them a little bit better. Now, remember, these interviews are spontaneous. They are unrehearsed. The contestants are being judged on poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of their responses. And we'll begin with Miss Australia, Georgina Dennehy, who's 20 years of age. She's a professional model who enjoys rollerblading, swimming, and cycling. Uh, this isn't your first trip to Thailand. Were you here on work before or pleasure? Yes, it's actually my third trip. I came about three years ago to do some work with an Australian fashion catalogue. And then I came back last year for a holiday and I ended up modelling again. You obviously like the culture here. What, what charms you about Thailand? It's definitely the people, the Thai people. They're always smiling, always very happy. And also their natures. Um, they're very artistic people too. It's very lovely to see. Are you heavy into Thai food? I love spicy food, yes. <laughs> you, don't, you don't look like the type of person that likes spicy food. Did you learn any of the language? I learned a little bit. 
Um, Could you give me a sample? <laughs> Our Thai friends will probably laugh at both of us, but uh, try. I'll try, okay. Kokkumaka, Thailand. And what does that mean? Ah, they understood. <laughs> what did you say? I just said thank you very much, Thailand. Thank you so much, Miss Australia. If you'd step over here for the judges, please. This is Miss Australia. Next is Miss Sweden, Monica Broda. She's a 19-year-old amateur photographer from Stockholm who enjoys the outdoors, planning a trip uh, around the world. That sounds kind of exciting. How long will you be gone? I will be gone about one year, and uh, I want to uh, start in Australia. Will you travel alone? No, with a very good friend. Where will you go eventually? Uh, I plan to go uh, first to Australia, then uh, I think I finish my trip to uh, USA. Sounds like a long time. Obviously, you like to travel. Why? Uh, I think uh, it's experience for me, and I see very new uh, things in the world, and I, I think uh, it's very important for every person, because you have to see the poor, you have to see the rich, you have to see everything, because it's on, not only you in this world. So I think it's a good idea to go out and travel. Very good learning experience. Will you come back and visit Thailand? Of course. Thank you so very much. It's nice to have you with us. Miss Sweden, if you'd step over here for the judges. This is Miss India, Madhu Sapri, who's 20 years of age, a model, recent college graduate, junior national gold medalist in track and field. You're a very serious athlete. Who's your coach? My father. Is he difficult? Not really. He's been very, at least like a friend. I fight with him, but we are back together again. But when he has to be strict, he's very strict. Well, you say you fight with him. What do you fight about with your father, coach? <laughs> Most of the time, many times I go late night out for parties and in the morning I can't get up for jogging so he'll come and put water on me or, you know, pinch me or something so that time we fight. Is he here in the audience? Yes, he's sitting right there. Uh, I don't know if we can get a camera to him but he's saying, oh, she throws water, all right. Um, an alarm clock might have been easier. You're obviously well trained. Uh, what sort of a person are you now with all of this heavy duty training? Um, I can say that I have learned a lot after coming here and I know how to take care physically, how to be fit, but after coming here I know how to behave and how much I have to improve upon more. So I think I am not perfect, but a little bit okay. I think you're a lot a little bit okay. Thank you. Please, if you will, step over here. This is Miss India. Now let's say hello to Miss Netherlands. This is Vivian Janssen, who's 19 years of age. She's a European studies student, speaks four languages, luckily for me, one of which is English. <laughs> what are uh, European studies? It means that if you finish this school, you're a European specialist, because uh, there are no uh, European specialists yet, and it's coming nearer and nearer. So if you are a European specialist, you can probably get a very good job. What will you do when you uh, finish your studies? I would like to work in France, in Paris, because it's a really romantic city. And I like the people a lot. I like, like the French culture. So I would like to begin an advertisement agency. All right, now that's the serious side about you. Let me find out a bit uh, about your hobbies. Uh, you told me you're going to learn to ride motorcycles. <laughs> yes. It's Why? Not, it's not very ladylike. Huh? <laughs> Yes, I uh, am busy with my uh, driving license and when... Wait a minute, for automobiles? Yes. Do you know how to drive a car? Yes, I do. But in Holland you need uh, also a, li a license to drive a motorcycle. May I suggest learn the car first? I, I have already learned to, to drive the car. Don't worry. <laughs> Much good luck. Let me know when you're on the road. Uh, Miss Netherlands, if you will step over here, please. Next is Miss New Zealand, Lisa de Montauk. She's 21 years of age. She enjoys bungee jumping, whitewater rafting, parasailing. You are a thrill seeker. I am a thrill seeker. Let me turn you just this way slightly, if I may. We'll get a better look at you. Uh, why do you like dangerous things? Because I think life is short enough as it is. Um, why worry about what's around the next corner? Just take a dive and do it. Have does some your, fun. Does your family worry about you? My mother, she refuses to come along and watch these events, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone told me during the course of the week you were raised next to a cliff. Or, uh, did you live near oh, a... No, no, I did the bungee jump off a 150-foot cliff. It's, um, 
a ramp that went off the cliff, and I just fell off it. You had no hesitation about doing this? You can't. If you hesitate, you won't do it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it to begin with. Um, when you return home, you're going to go into music of some sort? Um, I love the whole aspect of the entertainment business. I'd like to get into TV as well as sing a little bit, as I do already. So, yeah, the whole package deal. You're going to form a band? I'd like to, yes. And then women? A female, female band. All females? Yeah. Much good luck. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. This is Miss New Zealand. If you'd step over here. Thank you very much. That completes our first interviews. I'm very impressed. What about that Miss New Zealand, huh? <laughs> she's I really. Love you. She's got that go for it attitude, oh, yeah. doesn't she? All right, coming up next, who do you think? Oh, Miss Venezuela, I just know for sure. She's so cool and collected. She will do great. And Miss Colombia, you have to watch for her. She's very fast on her feet. She speaks fluently English because she's lived in the United States for eight years. These girls, it's hard to rattle them. Miss USA is in the next group of five yeah. coming up. I'm so impressed by Shan. I mean, she's so bright. She's well-spoken, a published writer. I'm actually going to look for her uh, parents in the audience when we come back and have a little chat with them. Oh, see how they're, <laughs> how they're holding up. I love the shots of the parents. There's such hopefulness there. All right, back with the rest of the interviews in just a moment, right after this word from CoverGirl. Suddenly, color takes you where you've never been before. It's showtime. All the way to remarkable. CoverGirl presents new remarkable lip color. Discover more passion, more depth, more color to the color. A micro-concentrate formula, lip-nurturing vitamin E. For the richer look of more color. Take your lips all the way to new remarkable lip color. Discover more color to the color. That's it, folks. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. At JCPenney, we change clothes. From head to toe. Top to bottom. Collar to cuff. We've changed looks. We've changed Mother's Day specials. The perfect way to make Mother's Day even more special. Do you want beautiful hair every day? All you really need is finesse. Finesse is all you need. Finesse adjusts to your hair's changing needs. Never over conditions, never under conditions. You always get beautiful hair no matter what. day of your life. All you really need is finesse. Finesse. Right here in the middle of this wonderful audience with the parents of Shannon Marketic Miss USA. Well, Shannon is going to come up in the interview. How do you think she'll do? Well, those are ten beautiful young women, but one of Shannon's uh, strongest assets is uh, when you give a microphone to her, because then that inner beauty really begins to shine out. So I think she'll do quite well. Oh, she's such a great talker. And what is it like to see your daughter up there? Uh, it's great. She's very natural on stage, and it's just fun to see her participating with the other women. So you're a proud daddy, huh? Little butterflies, I guess, huh? I think so. <laughs> well, Lisa, I think all parents must be so nervous at this moment. I'm sure all the parents are very anxious about right now. Love his hat. Isn't that great? All right, if Miss USA is going to finish well in the interviews, here's who she has to beat. Let's check the scores for you in the last group of five. Miss India is the one to go for here. They were all charming. Miss New Zealand's in second place, as you can see. Those are the scores for the first five interviews. Right now, we want to go back to the stage and see if Miss USA can do it. All right, let's continue now with our interviews and meet the remaining five semifinalists. This is Miss USA, Shannon Marketic, who's 21 years of age, a scholarship student, and written a couple of books, planned to attend a law school. That's a pretty interesting background. You were raised on a ranch, though. Yes, sir, I was. Where? 
in Wickenburg, Arizona. Uh, cattle ranch? Cattle ranch, 8,000. Did you help with the chores? Well, I helped round up cattle, yes. Are you a good horsewoman? I mean, would you, would you like to live on a ranch or a farm the rest of your life? The rest of my life, uh, that's kind of pushing it, but I'd like to have a place in the country so that I can have my kids appreciate the value of um, raising animals and caring with them. Now, you're going to study law. If you graduate and get your degree, what would you do? Uh, well, I'd like to be a def child defense attorney and um, defend abused children in Los Angeles and work for the state and do that. I think I'd be most efficient that way. What do you think is the biggest problem young people face in, uh, specifically in the United States or around the world? Um, a lot of kids don't have the support of a strong family, and I think that that's something that leads to substance abuse and um, further disorders like that. So I think that's at the root of most of our problems in America. And probably around the world. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. If you'd step over there for the judges, Miss USA. <laughs> Next is Miss Colombia, Paula Turbe Gomez. And Paula, I promised you I would pronounce your name correctly. It's Turbay. 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 Well, I had it right the first time. I shouldn't have tried. In English, in Spanish, it's Turbay. All right, you'll see. You're a third year university student majoring in psychology. Do you want your translator or are you comfortable? No, right now I'm comfortable. You'll come if we need you. All right. Uh, you're majoring in psychology. Uh, what do you hope to do with your uh, career? Well, my mother and I have a school for children with learning disabilities, so I decided to study psychology so I could continue with my mother's work. Now, your mother has the school. Your father is a, has a Ph.D. One of your uncles was a government official. With all of your family's accomplishments, does this worry you or inspire you? It inspires me because, um, well, people in my family have tried to do their best. They've worked a lot. So that inspires me to do my best and to kind of be the head of my family, be somebody important for, and make them feel proud of me. What will be the first thing you will do when you go home to Colombia? I guess the first thing I will do is tell my Colombian people how proud I am to be in the top ten and representing my beautiful country, Colombia. Thank you very much. Miss Colombia, if you'd step over here for the judges. Next is Miss Namibia, Michelle McLean, who's 19 years of age, an international model. Namibia is in Africa, of course. What's it like growing up there? How many people are there there? There's 1.4 million people in a country that Switzerland could fit into 20 times. So it's quite a large space. What do you like most about living there? The cleanliness, unpolluted countryside, and plenty, plenty of space. We have so much beautiful countryside that we can travel around in. Um, not many towns, in fact only one capital city, and about 17 towns. Is it unusual for you to come to a place like Thailand where there are millions of people so close together? Yes, it is. It's very different for me. When you were 14 years of age, you went off, let us see what it says here, to Madrid to model. Were you worried about that? Yes, at first I was, but I think after a while you get quite used to being around a lot of people. and. Um, you get acquainted with the bustle of everyday life and the chaotic streets and shops. You look like you can take very good care of yourself. Please, if you will, step over here for the judges. This is Miss Namibia. <laughs> Next is Miss Venezuela, Carolina Isaac. And Carolina, would you like your interpreter? No? All right today? All right. She's a university student studying to be an environmental architect. What is an environmental architect? Well, um, an environmental architect is uh, an architect that creates spaces, pleasant spaces for humans, but spaces in which you integrate nature inside. You feel nature, you feel maybe the rain, or why not the flowers, the colors of the flowers inside in the sun of your house? Do you have to be uh, artistic to do this? Of course. <laughs> What other things uh, do you do to help the environment uh, other than study and work on it? Well, I've been working with uh, environmental groups in my country. And uh, when I go back, I will start preparing. Um, um, oh, I missed the word. Well, um, that's not to worry. You are doing so well. I'm amazed you were worried about the. Have you studied English a long time? Well, I studied um, in a bilingual school when I was little. So that's why I know. One quick thing, light side. What do you do to relax? I just put my hands together, I close my eyes, and I 
think, and I go away into nature. Much good luck to you. Thank you so much. Miss Venezuela, if you'd step over here for the judges. Miss Venezuela, ah, uh, thank you. Next is Miss Belgium, Anka van der Meersch. She is 19 years of age. She speaks five languages, enjoys parasailing and bungee jumping. When you're not jumping off bridges, what do you do? I study law. You in study Antwerp. law? Yes, in Antwerp. Is it difficult? Uh, no, it's not that difficult if you're very interested, and that's what I am, so. If you get your degree in law, will that be your career or something else? Uh, my big dream is to become, become movie star. But if I get my degree in law, I'd like to work in the international law, because Belgium is now the center of the European community, and I'd like to work in the government of the European community. This is probably a silly question. What do you think is more difficult, being a movie star or a lawyer? Um, I think a lawyer, because I like more to be movie star. And if you like something, it's easier to do. <laughs> All right, fair enough. How would you describe yourself in one or two words? Um, two words, determined and confident. Thank you very much. If you will, please step over here. This is Miss Belgium. <laughs> and that completes the interview competition for Miss Universe 1992. They were absolutely great. I know you want to see how the judges scored this competition. So let's check it out for you. Miss Columbia is out in front, followed by Miss Venezuela, very close for third place with Miss Namibia. High scores for the girls. They did very well in the interviews. The contestants have now completed two-thirds of the semifinal competition. Soon you will see the other third as the girls compete in evening gowns. Right now the contestants, while they change into their dance dresses for a fabulous musical number, we thought you'd like to join them in exploring the sights and sounds of Bangkok. The first word to learn in Thai is Sanuk, which means fun. Second word to learn is shopping. So let's start spending some of that pretty Thai money. Our delegates headed straight for the mall shopping center in downtown Bangkok. There they picked up, oh, you know, a few baubles, bangles, and beads. Thailand's famous floating market is like a mall on water. You can bet our delegates tried their hand at a little local bargaining. There was a quiet moment to pay respects at the Shrine of Prophetom, one of Thailand's 32,000 temples. Back at their home away from home, the Dusatani Hotel, the contestants got a close look at artists creating some of Thailand's beautiful handicrafts. Some of our ladies even tried creating a few masterpieces of their own. Elephant rides are a highlight at the Rose Garden. There, our contestants were treated to a show of traditional Thai music, dance, and ceremonies. The girls even joined in. Great manicure. Watch your step. This was like a mini parade of nations, complete with every country's flag. the girls changed into Catalina Sportswear, which is almost as lively as Thailand's famous spicy food. Ogilvy hosted a seminar on hot oil treatments with Pode, one of Thailand's leading hairstylists. Well, let's face it, everybody loves a beauty tip. By then, the ladies had learned the most important words in Thai, Kap Kun Ka, thank you. Well, the girls love being tourists in Thailand, but there have also been some very special moments of fun and competition during pageant week. The press photographers covering the Miss Universe pageant helped to select Miss Photogenic. These girls are so gorgeous, it's tough work. Hey, somebody's got to do it. And we will now find out together who they choose. The winner for the 1992 Miss Photogenic Award is Miss Ecuador Soledad Diallo. The Best National Costume Award was voted on by a distinguished panel of Thai judges. 
the 1992 Best National Costume Award goes to Miss Paraguay. The contestants spend a lot of time working together and getting to know each other. Then they vote among themselves for Miss Congeniality, which is a real honor. Miss Congeniality Award goes to Miss Turks and Caicos. Now watch how she accepts her trophy. <laughs> That's great. Everybody's favorite moment is the emotional first meeting between the contestants and their Miss Universe little sister. You'll see the little sisters again during the evening gown competition. They're so adorable. When we come back, the contestants, the reigning Miss Universe, and some exquisite Thai dancers will entertain you with a musical production number. That's all right after this. Wouldn't you love hair this healthy and shiny? Mine wasn't always so healthy. Then I found Pantene's new Pro-V. Pro-V is the combined shampoo and conditioner with Pantene's Pro-Vitamin formula. The Pro-Vitamins go deep into your hair, improving it right down to the tip making it so healthy and so shiny. New Pantene Pro-V for hair so healthy it shines. Try it. You'll see. I hate to clean. That's why I love this new Fantastic. Did you see it? It cuts through grease without leaving the film. So when I have company coming, I have time to do the really important things, like wipe the lipstick off the milk container. No grease, no film, new Fantastic. I know. I know I should use a Tartar Control toothpaste, but mine tasted too strong. Introducing mild-tasting Tartar Control Crest Smooth Mint Gel. <laughs> you were right about that crest. My mouth thanks you. It's tough on tartar, soft on you. The 1992 Miss Universe pageant will continue. Stay tuned! Soon, you'll be able to learn almost everything you want to know about your baby's future, even before your baby is born. 60 Minutes, Sunday. Monday. What is it? The remains of Edith Newton. Will Wood go overboard for a fancy funeral? All new evening shade. Then Camp Hollister is history. Can the Major handle it? Let's say he's lost to the poor son. The season finale of Major Dad. <laughs> Monday. All those who love great comedies say hi. What mystery brought the United States, Russia, and Canada together? What secrets lie nearly three miles beneath the ocean? Its size is overwhelming. Never before seen footage. The depth is overwhelming. Of one of the world's greatest mysteries, the Titanic, next Friday. This is CBS. Tonight on Channel 10 News. A special report on parents who push their children to become beauty pageant participants. Should you make your child a beauty queen or king? Also, Channel 10's Luann Conn and actress Ann Jillian share their anguish, joys, out. and hopes in their battle against breast cancer tonight at 11. With 30 minutes of eye exercise a day, I may be able to throw my prescription eyeglasses away. Will these laser vision eyeglasses improve my eyesight? Find out on Denenberg's Dump at 11 tonight. And now the news from the 18th century. In colonial Williamsburg, the debate on the Stamp Act rages on. the third may Reason! Reason! Make the most of it! The fire brigade was disappointed today when all the smoke turned out to be Mrs. Craig burning her oat cakes. And the ball was held at the governor's palace. Come to colonial Williamsburg. For your free vacation planner, call 1-800-HISTORY. Breast cancer. My personal story. An update tonight at 11. Now, as we return live to Bangkok, we'd like to thank three of the people. Now, as we return live from Bangkok, we'd like to honor three of the people who've helped to bring the Miss Universe pageant to Bangkok. The chairman of our honorary host committee, Police General Paul Sarasin, his wife, philanthropist Kunying Tawika Sarasin, and businessman and entrepreneur Kunkari Kanjanapat. Now, anybody who has visited Thailand will tell you that moving through the streets of Bangkok can be quite an adventure. You can zoom through traffic on a three-wheel tuk-tuk taxi or float down the canals on a boat.
But our contestants think the best way around Bangkok is dancing in the street. And here they are in their dresses by one of Thailand's noted women designers, Rap He. Joining them is the reigning Miss Universe, Lupita Jones. Ladies, the city is yours. <laughs> Way to go, girls. The audience appreciates him, and they were wonderful. All right, well, since the girls changed into their evening gowns, too, we decided that we would change as well. Hey, you look beautiful, as always. Thank Lisa. you, Angela. I like your hair. It's that Jessica Rabbit thing happening. Well, thanks. This is like my all-time idol. Thank you. You made me so happy. This is my favorite part of the evening with the, the gowns. Who stands out in this competition? Um, you really have to watch for Miss Belgium. She designed her gown herself, and she said she was inspired by the Little Mermaid. It is a very sexy. Baba Boom kind of oh, gown. Baba Boom, for sure. And Miss Namibia, that walk. She's been a runway model since she was 13. She works that day. She can take it. Yeah. We really should mention Miss Venezuela as well. Oh, when she came on in the preliminaries, the audience just went. <sighs> it's just so gorgeous. It is. It's a oh, yeah. very beautiful gown. She carries it beautifully. It will be the battle of the gowns just as soon as we come back. Your free trial pair of AccuView disposable contact lenses could be... Love at first sight. This is the lens of my life. The comfort is irresistible. I love the fact that I don't have to clean them. And now Johnson & Johnson announces a lens back guarantee. Try AccuView for 90 days. If they're not the most comfortable lenses you've worn, we'll replace your current lenses free. It's better than love at first sight, because it's guaranteed to last. Take me, I'm yours. Ask your eye care professional if AccuView or SureView is right for you. Your new color is most vulnerable during the first two weeks. That's why you need Neutrogena Shampoo for permed or color-treated hair. It cleans and cares for your hair so gently that when you use it the first two weeks, your color actually lasts longer. Neutrogena. Use it first to make your color last. Nabisco shredded weed. It's just good stuff. Why struggle? Get the power you need.
get the corded dirt vac from Black & Decker. It handles tough dirt even on stairs. Its motorized brush and powerful suction quickly cut through the toughest jobs. The dirt vac easily tackles all kinds of pet hair. And its snap-on attachments get dirt wherever it hides, especially in tight crevices. The dirt vac vacuum, the only one with the guts to carry the Black & Decker name. Sunday, a war hero's frame for murder. You're gonna self-destruct. Will he lose his honor or his life? I can't believe that. An all-new Murder, She Wrote, then. What would you do if the man who killed your daughter was set free? Not guilty by reason of insanity. Donna Mills. Are you crazy, Mommy? Is vengeance ever justified in my daughter's name? She thinks they did. It's a memory I'll never forget. He knows they didn't. We never had sex. Will she take the news graciously? Oh. All new Northern wow. Exposure, Monday. Welcome back. Live in Bangkok. Earlier you saw our contestants meet their beautiful little sisters for the first time, and now those very special little girls are here to help us set the mood for the evening gown competition. to Miss Universe Evening Gown Competition, beginning with Miss Australia.
Colombia. Belgium. competition and our semifinals. Thank you ladies very much. Ah, those little girls really do it for me. Let's turn to the monitor now. Let's tell you how the judges scored the evening gown competition tonight. Miss Venezuela, she is really pulling a number. She's out in front, followed closely by Miss India, also competing strongly, and Miss Namibia and Colombia neck and neck there for third and fourth place. Remember, these scores are combined with those from the swimsuit and interview competitions to determine the six finalists for Miss Universe 1992. We'll find out who they are right after this. There's a new kind of comfort for women on the move. Something so soft and flexible it follows every move. New Always Sheer Confidence Panty Liners with Soft Form. Unlike regular liners, they're flexible, not stiff. With adhesive edge to edge to help stay put no matter how you move. The panty liner is so comfortable it's hard to believe it's there. New Always Sheer Confidence Panty Liners with Soft Sore. A new kind of comfort for women on the move. Ragu introduces Chicken Tonight Simmer Sauces. And suddenly, everybody's saying... I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight, chicken tonight. Choose from six new sauces. Each one's made with real vegetables and herbs. So you can make dishes like country French chicken and chicken cacciatore. Just brown the chicken, simmer, and serve. I feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. New Chicken Tonight Simmer Sauces from Ragu. Chicken tonight. Have you had your V8 today? Did you know that V8 juice has fewer calories than that orange and 100% of the daily allowance of vitamin C? Wow! And did you know that V8 is 100% vegetable juice, so it has no fat, unlike that low-fat milk? Wow! And did you know that V8 has more vitamin A than that serving of fresh broccoli? Wow! I gotta have a V8. V8 is a nutritious blend of eight vegetable juices that taste terrific. <sighs> have you had your V8 today? My best friend and I went out last night with our brand new perms. Well, she had gone to the salon and spent way too much. And I had gotten an Ogilvy home perm. People kept saying to me, oh, your hair is gorgeous. But nobody really said anything to her. The Decisely Red home perm, it's got automatic shut-off timing. I couldn't have overdone it. I couldn't have underdone it. It's perfect. I'm glad I didn't go with her to the salon. So now that you got a beautiful perm, what do you get? Ogilvy hot oil for permed hair. One minute once a week helps keep your great-looking perm looking great. 
Ogilvy Hot Oil. You got it right, now keep it right. We're back live now from Bangkok, and in a few moments, the scores will be tabulated. We'll know who the six finalists are. But first, here's the reigning Miss Universe, Mexico's Lupita Jones, with the two former Miss Universe title holders from Thailand to give us a closer look at this beautiful and fascinating country. Thailand, a kingdom beyond the rainbow, where palaces and ancient temples dot the landscape, a land of smiles. It is here, in Bangkok's Grand Palace, one find the heart and soul of Thailand. And for a closer look, here is Miss Universe 1965, Thailand's own Apastara Honsakula Sirasivat. Thank you, Lupita. The Loyal Palace was built in 1872 by King Rama I and houses some of Thailand's great treasures, such as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. It is from here that King Pumipun Adunadu conducts state ceremonies. For Thailand's royalty, public work is a family affair. At Her Majesty Queen City Kids Support Foundation, farmers supplement their income while preserving ancient Thai art. Since the days of Marco Polo, Thailand has been a center for international trade. Today, visitors discover a bustling metropolis where the ancient and the modern stand side by side, where the teachings of Buddha shape a national character of tolerance and kindness. Where the everyday becomes art, and the fragrance of flowers lingers in the air. When the sun goes down in Bangkok, the nightlife is electric. Our guide for this evening, Pontim Nahirankanak, Miss Universe 1988. Hi, Pontim. Hi, Lupita. How about a little shopping? Lead the way. Let's go. Thailand gives a new meaning to the phrase shopper's paradise. Everything from sapphires to silk and everything in between. For the adventures at heart, one has only to travel a short way up the Shao Phraya River to find the mystical ruins of the ancient capital of Ayutthaya, once the loveliest city in all of Asia. Its haunting beauty is now but a dream of long ago. Traveling east, we find Pimai, where modern Thais live the traditions of the past, where Brahma, Shiva, Vishnu and Buddha stand together, boundless and eternal. We continue north to Chiang Mai, shrouded in misty mountains. Life for the hill tribes people goes on today as it has to Hi! Whoop. It is said the most beautiful women in the kingdom are here in Chiang Mai, the Rose of the North. It is also a treasured chest of art and craft. It's a short flight south to the resort island of Phuket, where its breathtaking beaches and world-class resorts are sure to charm even the most dated traveler. In Mexico, we say, hasta pronto, until we meet again. Thank you. I know I will be back. How about you? Thank you, Lupita, very much. Our very nervous semi-finalists have joined us now as we come to a turning point. And if I may please have this very important piece of paper. These are the names of the six contestants who go on as finalists. And ladies, once again, I will read these names in random order. Good luck to all. Our first finalist for Miss Universe 1992 is Miss Netherlands. <laughs> Next is Miss Belgium. Miss India. Three names remain, Miss Venezuela. Miss Namibia. Yeah. 
One finalist remains. It is Miss Columbia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the sixth finalist for the title of Miss Universe 1992. Nervous and excited smiles. They are six sensational ladies. Absolutely. Judges are going to have a tough time, Angela, I think, narrowing this group down to just three. Yes, and again, the previous scores no longer count, so these six finalists start here on equal footing. During the next round of competition, you will see the individual judges' scores, but not the composite score. We thought we'd pump up the suspense for you a little Even bit. Even more. <laughs> All right. The judges' questions are coming up, and this is one of the most intense parts of oh, the yeah. competition. And for you, because Again. I have to ask you, who do you think will do best? Well, I have to go with Miss Columbia. She finished first in the interview competition. You just have to love her. She's so sweet and really well on her feet. Very charming. And uh, I think Miss India. She's really full of spark. She's funky. I, I really like Miss Netherlands. What can I say? She's a doll. <laughs> have you heard the crowd? They're really behind Miss India tonight, yeah, they too. Yeah, really are. All right, our six finalists are going to be on the spot with some tough questions, and only three can survive. So stay with us. We'll be back in a moment after this word from you, Incognito, by CoverGirl. Slip into the night, softly, seductively. Go incognito. Incognito, a fragrance so romantic, so intriguing. He'll wonder who you are, no matter where you go. Slip into the night. Go incognito. Incognito by CoverGirl. The intrigue never ends. For cleaning, shining, and disinfecting, nothing outperforms us in the bathroom. Dow Bathroom Cleaner, starring scrubbing bubbles. We work hard so you don't have to. Afraid swimsuit season will reflect badly on you? Then make the under 200 calorie Kellogg Special K breakfast part of your diet plan. And get the shape that reflects the way you want to be. Kellogg Special K. Lose that winter fat. The 1992 Miss Universe pageant will continue. Tom Berenger, Charlie Sheen, and Corbin Burnson. What league you been playing in? California Penal. By the bad news of baseball. Major League Saturday. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most dangerous of them all? Sheila Doe! Too bad. Your dirty deeds are about to catch up with you, Sheila. Over my dead body. Sheila has a date with fate. So wherever you go, don't go far, because next week you can't miss Y&R. The book most widely read. The book most hotly debated. The Holy Bible. But is it fact or fable? Did all those miraculous events described in the Bible really occur? Join host William Devane for a controversial special event. Ancient Secrets of the Bible next Friday. This is CBS. Tonight on Channel 10 News. Three teenagers fighting for their lives after this deadly accident in Deford, New Jersey. This teen killer may be in custody and police say it's a 12-year-old boy. The sentence is in, but a man known as Dr. Sperm will tell you how long he'll be in jail. A true story of courage. Channel 10's Luann Kahn and actress Ann Gillian share their personal battles against breast cancer. How much is too much for parents pushing their children to become beauty kings and queens? A Channel 10 special report tonight on Room for Glamour. And Herb Denenberg checks into some eyeglasses that claim to have special powers. And what he finds is that what you see isn't always what you get. The story tonight, Channel 10 News at 11. Hi, I'm Jack Walensky. And this is Gina Preston. Thanks, Jack. Welcome back to Early Mornings on WXTU, Gina. You've been gone for a while. What have you been up to? Well, Jack, I've been running around a lot. I've been hanging around a lot. You know, Jack, we're really going to shake things up in this town. <laughs> Gina, welcome back to Early Mornings on WXTU. Welcome to Jack and Gina. Weekday mornings on Today's Country, 92 WXTU. Welcome to the 90s. This Saturday is your last chance to save during Wanamaker's two-day sale. Saturday, take 30 to 60% off early birds 8 a.m. to noon, plus super store-wide savings all day long, Saturday only, only at Wanamaker's.
Welcome back to our live show from Bangkok where we continue the search for the new Miss Universe with the judges' questions. Now, here's how it works. Each judge's name is in this bowl, and each contestant will draw a name and respond to a question which that judge has prepared. Each contestant has 20 seconds to answer, allowing time for translation if necessary. The judges must now vote for the final three contestants. And they'll not only consider the answers to these questions, they'll also be reminded by incident replay pictures of each contestant's appearance earlier, both in the swimsuit and the evening gown competition. Now, the score from the judge who asked the question will be highlighted on your screen. So, judges, if you're ready, we'll start with uh, Miss Netherlands first. If you would, please draw a question. All right, let's see. This comes from judge number one. Kim Alexis. Kim, may we have your question, please? Could you ever marry someone your parents disapprove of? Oh, that's a difficult one. I think I would first try to convince my parents that he's really the right guy for me. But they'd have to know him anyway, so I think my mom knows what's good for me and what's not. But if they would totally disagree, which I doubt, um, I think I'd go ahead and marry him. <laughs> Please wait a moment. Lady with a mind of her own. In 1989, Holland's Angela Visser, of course, won Miss Universe, and their delegate last year was first runner-up. Vivian's got to be feeling that pressure. Thank you very much. If you'd step back, Miss Belgium, if you'd come forward and pull a question from the bowl. This is from judge number five. Marion Doherty. Marion, may we have your question, please? If you were banished... Marion, let me get a microphone to you. Oh. That one is not on. If you were banished from your country... I'm sorry, that's still not on. Marion, hold on. I'm I'll, dead. I'll shout it out after you say it. Go ahead. Okay. If you were banished from your country, where you would you go from to your country. start a new life, and why would you choose yeah. that country? If you are banished from your own country and you had to start a new life, where would you go and what would you do? Um, I think I'll go to the neighbor country, France. Um, Belgium has two parts. It's also, also a French-speaking part in Belgium. So I'll, I'll take to the French-speaking country. I'd like to live then in Paris, because I work now part-time as a model with my law studies. And uh, I'd like to work there then and continue the law studies over there, because France is also a big country, also part of the European community. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. <laughs> All those years of dreaming and the months of preparation, they all come down to this. In just moments, Anchor will know if she still has a chance to be the new Miss Universe. Thank you very much. If you'd step back, Miss India, would you come forward, please, and draw a question from the bowl? And let's see what we have here. This is judge number two, Robin Leach. Robin, may we have your question, please? If you could go back into the past and change any event in history, which event would you choose and why? Uh, if I could change the past, I would love to go back to the day when uh, late Mrs. Prime Minister Mrs. Indira Gandhi was assassinated and she was killed. And I would love to get her back again because I think she had a very dynamic personality. And not only India, but all over the world, they appreciated her for what work she did. And I would definitely want her to come back. Thank you very much. Please wait a moment. As an athlete, Madhu is used to competition and pressure, but you have to wonder if anything can prepare a young lady for this. Wow. Can you join the others, please, Miss Venezuela? Did you draw a question? We have our translator standing by in case. This is judge number nine. Kun Ying Sasime Sivikorn. May we have your question, please? If you could know one thing about your future, what would you like to know? I wouldn't like to know anything about my future because I like uh, to live my day every day as it's the only day I have in life. And uh, I project my life, but I wouldn't like to know what's in the future. Thank you very much. Please wait here for a moment for the judges. It could be a crown in her future. Carolina has dreamed of being Miss Universe since she was four. Could this be the dream that's about to come true? We're about to find out. Thank you very much. Miss Namibia, if you'd come forward, please. And let me stir this up a little bit. Take one of those. Oh, there's still choices. Here we go. Uh, judge number eight, 
Estelle Getty. Estelle, may we have your question, please? If you had the chance to go into space for two years, accompanied by one other person, who would you want to take along and why? Aside from me. Uh, I think I'd like to take my mother along, not because she's a maternal figure for me. She has been the most inspiration in my life in the sense that she has encouraged me to do many, many things. Um, and she gives me emotional support as well as insight into what I want to do in the future for myself as well. Um, she's helped me to prepare my career for the future, which is holistic healing. Thank you very much. Please wait here a moment. From that voice composure, you'd never guess that 19-year-old Michelle is one of the youngest contestants here. And if she wins, she'll be the first ever from Namibia to take the crown. Thank you. If you'd step back, Miss Columbia, if you'd come forward. And we have our translator standing by in case, but I don't think you'll have any trouble. Here we go. This is uh, judge number four, Luis Enrique. Luis, may we have your question, please? Would you prefer to live a life full of passion or one of serenity? A life of passion or serenity? Well, I guess a life full of serenity because when you're serene, that's what you say, uh, you, it's because you're thinking things and you may, can make passion out of your serenity. Very good. Thank you so much. If you'll wait here a moment. <laughs> Paula said earlier that more than anything in life, she wants to do something big. A win here tonight. That goal becomes reality. The others now. Ladies and gentlemen, that completes this round of competition for our six finalists. And in a few moments, we'll name the final three contestants, one of whom will not only win the crown, but cash prizes and gifts worth over a quarter of a million dollars. Now here's our reigning Miss Universe, Rapita Jones, to show us what awaits tonight's winner. CoverGirl, the official cosmetics of the Miss Universe pageant, awards tonight's winner $7,500 plus a year's supply of CoverGirl cosmetics. CoverGirl redefines the look of the 90s with a range of products as innovative as they are beautiful. CoverGirl, redefining beautiful. Miss Universe receives $7,500 plus a year's supply of Ogilvy Precisely Right, the home perm you just can't get wrong. Precisely Right by Ogilvy, the official home perm of the Miss Universe pageant for the girl who's precisely right tonight. Fresh, clean, and youthful. It has to be a Sassafee. She receives $5,000 plus the new breed of cosmetic and jewelry organizer from Sassafee. Designed from the inside out. The look is high energy, high tech, and high fashion. It's a Sassafee. Miss Universe receives two first-class round-trip tickets to any Thai Airways destination in the world. From Thai Airways International, the official airline of the 1992 Miss Universe pageant. From Catalina, Miss Universe receives $10,000 cash plus a new wardrobe of Catalina's exciting swimwear and sportswear in fresh, attractive designs and colors. Catalina, the official swimwear and sportswear for the 1992 Miss Universe pageant. From Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products, Miss Universe receives a one-week trip to Hawaii for two. Hawaiian Tropic world-class sun protection available in over 85 countries around the world. Aloha from Hawaiian Tropic. She wins a fun-filled Caribbean vacation for four from Crown Cruises. The look suites, casino, dancing, live shows every night, plus exotic island tours, all from Crown Cruise Line. From Minolta, Miss Universe receives $7,500 cash and the incomparable Maxim 7XI SLR system, the world's most intelligent camera, plus a Minolta master camcorder and the world's only autofocus binoculars, only from the mind of Minolta. To celebrate its 40th anniversary, distinguished as the first Japanese car manufacturer in Thailand, Cyan Motors awards this 1992 300ZX sports car by Nissan. From Cyan Motors, a member of the Cyan Group. Incredible, a matching ring bracelet and earring ensemble. 32 carats of diamonds embedded in 18 karat gold designed especially for Miss Universe by Frank's Jewelry Creations of Thailand, one of the world's finest jewels. In addition to winning a stunning evening gown collection of exclusively Sherry Hill creations, she tops off her wardrobe with this gorgeous full-length natural black glamour mink coat from the internationally famous Flemington Fur Company, Flemington, New Jersey. And finally, an exquisite 18 karat gold ladies Bertolucci watch with 142 diamonds and mother of pearl diamonds from Bertolucci, the finest Italian design new Swiss classic for the night.
lot of great stuff. Did you see that bracelet? Well, it's kind of hard to miss, I think. Major jewelry. <laughs> yeah. All right, last year at this point in the evening, I asked you to pick the final three. Now, you were right. Lisa, and you had to tell me that right now. Well, I expect pressure. you to keep the winning streak going, Angela. Let's wow. hear it. <laughs> Lisa, I, I, I really, it's so difficult. I wish I had a, a calculator somewhere. I don't have space in this dress, so I have to, have to go in my instincts. <laughs> Miss India, Miss Venezuela. And, uh, you know, it's a toss-up between Miss Namibia and Miss Netherlands. I mean, my heart, uh, I just don't know. I, I say Miss Namibia, but I'm really, you know. I'm okay, all right, th there you, you know. go. All right, those are the picks from someone who's won the crown. What do you think? We will reveal the final three contestants for Miss Universe 1992 right after this. You know, I found something really special while shopping at Hallmark for Mother's Day. A $5 savings on birthday cards in June. Just make a $5 purchase, get a $5 savings. Really? Call 1-800-HALLMARK for a participating store near you. Then come in and ask for your $5 savings certificate. A $5 savings with a $5 purchase. It's great. It's our Mother's Day gift to you. See you at Hallmark. California. I've captured your essence. Your spirit. And sparkle. Your style. And sophistication. Jacqueline Smith's California. The fragrance that captures the dream. California, you make me feel great. You're filled with glamour and glow. Dazzle and dream. California. The fragrance that captures the dream. These days, the less trash, the better. Right, Kathy? Yeah! And the Downey refill helps. Just pour, add water, and here's my trash. And I still get the fluffiest softness. The Downy Refill. More softness, less trash. Every little bit helps. Our solid antiperspirant is strong enough to stand up to even the toughest customer. But it's not for him. It's for her. <laughs> With the most effective ingredients to help keep you dry, cool, in control. And Secret still creates balance to work with a woman's unique chemistry. Secret. Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. I think they'll have shampoo there. We might not have head and shoulders. We're only going to be gone a week. Right, a week. Head and shoulders helps take care of the condition that causes flakes every day. Because you never know. You know? Head and shoulders. Because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. We've gone from 78 contestants to 10 to 6 extraordinary ladies. And now the judges must choose the final three in our search for the Miss New, U New Miss Universe. I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> ladies, I'll read these names in random order. The final three. Miss Namibia. Miss Columbia. And Miss India. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of these three will be the new Miss Universe. Okay, Angela, your credibility is still up there. Two oh, out of three. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're coming to one last round of competition, which is the final question. More than once, Angela and I have seen the person that we might have thought would be the potential winner just lose it here. Yeah, because sometimes a contestant will just freeze, and it's all over. Yeah, it is easy to choke, and it's a pressure cooker. All right, looks like they're just about ready on the stage. Let's go back down there. Ladies, take a deep breath now, if you're ready. This is the last round of competition. This is the final question. I'll ask each of you the very same question. You'll have 20 seconds in which to respond. And to make uh, sure it's fair, I'd like you, Miss India, and Miss Columbia to go in the soundproof booth over there. We'll play a little bit of music. And you and I will step over here. Same question for everybody. Everybody in there? OK. If you became leader of your country tomorrow, what is the first thing you would do? I would 
speak to the children, tell them that I'm there for them because they, they are the foundation of our every nation and I'd like them to know that I'm there for them. Thank you very much. If you would please step over here and wait a moment. <laughs> Miss Columbia. <laughs> Miss Columbia, this is the same question for everyone if you'll step over here. And the question is, if you became leader of your country tomorrow, what is the first thing you would do? I guess I would orientate my people to a um, peaceful way, show them the, the right way to walk towards a, a wonderful life that is life with peace. Thank you very much. Please step over here. <laughs> Lastly, Miss India, please. Miss India, we've asked everyone the same question, and you will receive the same question also. If you became leader of your country tomorrow, what is the first thing you would do? I think the first thing I'll do is um, I'll open up a big, biggest, I can say, uh, sports track and field uh, ground in India because I think we are lacking there. And that's the first thing I'll do. Very good. Thank you so much. If you'd step over here and join the others. Ladies, you have made life very difficult for the judges. They've got a tough choice to make. They are about to cast the final vote of the evening. Now, as each contestant steps forward, the judges will give her a ranking of three, two, or one as they vote for her to be the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. And we'll begin with Miss Namibia. is Miss Columbia. And now Miss India. And that completes the competition for Miss Universe 1992. All right, now it's time to make your predictions. Can you guess which contestant will win the crown for her country? We'll find out right after this. The rumor has been confirmed. Summer has been given one less day on the calendar this year. There'll be one less afternoon to race down a hill. To go nowhere in particular. To relax with a pitcher of country time lemonade flavored drink mix with a taste of good old fashioned lemonade. And though summer is one day shorter, we trust you'll make the most of it. Aha! So that's what happened to Dad's crap free singles. What free singles? <laughs> the fat free kind. Helps Dad watch his fat and cholesterol. Haven't seen them. Besides, we like them. <laughs> Sorry, campers, but these are different. See? Craft free means fat free. For Dad. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, we'll save him some. Any bread in the Craft free, free singles. Know. Flavor like that without the fat. If you're under a physician's care for high blood pressure, ulcers, or asthma, then your choice of a non-prescription pain reliever is especially important for millions of people like you. The one doctors recommend most is Tylenol. What's awesome? Groovy little radical. Wow! New glow in the dark bandit ram bandit. It's now! On your hand, on your nose, in the dark. It glows! It's bad, it's rad, it's easy to see. One shot gone bandit, bandit like on me. That's an easy Philadelphia. I didn't want to be radically different. I wanted to stay sort of in my own range. Let's face it, there's 5,000 colors. I figured, all right, what the heck? I'll just go ahead and do it. I did it late at night. It was nice and easy. I feel more attractive, and I feel more powerful. Nice and easy. 39 shades. Find yourself. It sounds superficial of me, I know, but it's not, because it, it, it goes deeper than your hair. <laughs> 
How would you feel if the man who killed your daughter was set free? Not guilty by reason of insanity. Would you blame a mother for taking vengeance? I need justice. If she does, would you find her? Isn't there something we can do? Not guilty. Are you crazy, Mommy? Donna Mills, in my daughter's name, Sunday. final act of our live show from Thailand as we are about to crown the new Miss Universe. This is the moment when we have to say farewell to the young woman from Mexico who's worn the crown for the past year. Ladies and gentlemen, for the last time as Miss Universe, here is Lupita Jones. This year has been full of emotional moments for me. I will never forget the Mexican flags waving during the pageant last year. And I'm proud to be my country's first Miss Universe. I was honored to meet Mexico's President Salinas. Thank you, Mexicali, for my incredible homecoming. I tried to show the human side of the Miss Universe title with public appearances in many countries. Most important to me were the motivational talks to school children and my work with charities such as the Starla Foundation. I thank God for the opportunity of this experience. And I thank my parents for their love and support. A special thank you to Simone for sharing this year with love and respect. Next year, I welcome everyone to my country for Miss Universe 1993. Te adoro México y confío en ti. Hasta siempre. I love and trust you, Mexico, forever. Gracias, Lupita. Much good luck and success. We'll see you next year for the 1993 Miss Universe pageant in Mexico City. That is 1993. And now, ladies, we won't keep you waiting any longer. We have tabulated the judges' rankings. We're ready to reveal the name of the second and first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. The accounting firm of Ernst & Young have reviewed the results for accuracy. Mr. Mark Ward, if you will give me those results. Thank you very much. To assist us, we have two women from Thailand who proudly worn the Miss Universe crown, Horntip Naki Ron Kanok. <laughs> and the Pasara Hongsakula Chirathabas. Now, ladies, this is the moment. I know your countries are very proud of all of you. You've all done well. Congratulations. But the judges can only choose one. And if you're ready, the second runner-up is Miss India. Now, if you will, ladies, please join me. I'm about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Universe is unable to complete her reign for any reason, our first runner-up will become Miss Universe. Ladies, good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss Columbia. Miss Universe is Miss Namibia. Michelle McLean, congratulations. You are the new Miss Universe 1992. You've won all the cash awards and the prizes worth more than a quarter of a million dollars. And now, as our entire cast serenade you, the stage is yours for the traditional walk as the new Miss Universe.
uh, congratulations for Lisa Gibbons and Angela Visser. This is Dick Clark from Thailand. Saiwadi. Good night. A vigilant judge by day, a vigilante hero by night. Dark Justice later tonight on Prime Time After Prime Time. It's too hot to sleep. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. Now get ready for your local news. CBS. Next, from Channel 10 News. This young girl's alleged killer behind bars tonight. Police say it's a 12-year-old boy. Three teens fighting for their lives after their car slams into a school bus in New Jersey. Channel 10's Luann Conn and actress Ann Gillian share their personal battles against I breast cancer. Out. And how much is too much for parents pushing their children to become beauty queens? Special report up next. Sears Brand Central Youth always count quality, great prices, and people like me. I'm Mike Foster, and right now, our once-a-year Carnival Values event means great savings on hundreds of items. Here's just one of the many great values. Right now, save $50 on America's best dishwashing system. The energy-saving Kenmore Ultra Wash 2 with powerful three-level wash. And there's much more, so don't miss this once-a-year event at Sears Brand Central now. So you're shopping at Frank's for great spring values. Uh-huh. At Frank's, we always spend less money on quality flowers, shrubs. But what we really like are the great gardening tips. Oh, uh, less money. <laughs> great tips. Don't forget Frank's top quality lawn and garden products, expertly formulated and guaranteed to help you create beautiful landscapes affordably. And discover Frank's quality difference, expert selected and cared for trees and shrubs, all affordably priced with Frank's guarantee. Beautiful things begin at Frank's. Great tips. Frank's Nursery and Crafts. Friendly's introduces our new country breakfasts. They're guaranteed to satisfy fresh, hearty, and delicious. We guarantee that you'll be completely satisfied. And if not, for any reason, you'll get your next one free. Friendly's, one of the best breakfast values under the sun. WCAU-TV, Philadelphia. Now, Larry Kane, Jane Robolo, Herb Clark Weather, and Ron Burke Sports. This is Channel 10 News. Good evening, everyone. I'm Renee Chanel. Jane has the night off. And I'm Larry Kane. Our top story tonight, an arrest in the murder of a teenager gunned down yesterday in an arcade parking lot in Upper Perkyoman Township. Sadly tonight, police believe her killer is also a child. Channel 10's Dennis Wolfring has the very latest for us tonight. The 12-year-old suspect had a coat over his head to hide his face. Police withholding his identity because he's a juvenile. He's charged with involuntary manslaughter, reckless endangerment. Accused of shooting 14-year-old Tracy Seidel in the back of the head as she sat in a parking lot of a neighborhood arcade. At this point, the evidence that we have at this moment is accidental. That might change. DA Michael Marino says...